This is Teresa Tang, a Taiwanese singer who was popular across the world in the 1970s and 80s. Tang performs a soft type of femininity, so sensual in fact that Tang's music was officially banned from mainland China during the 1980s, which incidentally just served to increase Tang's popularity in China. Tang's music contrasts with that of artists such as Tenger, a Mongolian singer who presents a traditional horse and hunting version of inner Asian masculinity. What's going on here? That both feminine Taiwanese music and masculine music from the steppe are popular in mainland China. In a traditional model of the gendered relationships between China and its neighbors, China sits at the middle between the masculine, aggressive, powerful North and the feminine, passive, cute South. In literary, historical, and modern-day imaginings, this extreme dichotomy normalizes Han Chinese identity and political power. We have seen throughout the course how the relationship between China and Inner Asia has influenced Han Chinese identity. For example, after the Tang Dynasty, Han Chinese men differentiated themselves from Inner Asian men by their focus on literature and arts, rather than on hunting and warfare. In today's popular imagination, the Chinese woman symbolizes virtue of China, which is under threat of violation by Inner Asian men. Modern Inner Asian mandopop still features depictions of traditional steppe masculinity, such as with the horses of Tenger's music, as well as with some more modern interpretations. Under this model, China has constructed its self-identity in response to Inner Asia in gender terms, which is used in claims of sovereignty over ethnic minorities in China. But what about the other side? How is China's relationship with Taiwan gendered and to what effect? At the surface, Taiwanese culture can be seen as more gentle, juvenile, and friendly than Chinese culture. In Taiwan, Chinese femininity is understood as aggressive and off-putting, whereas ideal Taiwanese femininity is coy and passive. Despite the notorious animosity between Taiwan and China, Taiwanese culture is hugely popular and influential in mainland China. For example, currently five of the top eight musicians on official Chinese mando pop charts are Taiwanese. Much of Taiwanese popular music in China is gendered in an expected way. Groups such as Teresa Tang and the contemporary SHE depict stereotypical, passive and soft Taiwanese femininity. However, there are also Taiwanese popular musicians that defy the stereotype, such as the androgynous Jing Chong. If we dig deeper into the gendered relationship between China and Taiwan, we see it is not so one-dimensional. While Taiwan is supposedly more feminine than China, it is also more gender equal. Compared to China, Taiwan has more women in government, higher rates of women receiving secondary education, and more equity and family law practice. The traditional single-spectrum active-to-passive model therefore does not accurately capture the variations seen in the relationship between China and its neighbors. To fully understand this relationship, we need to examine dimensions other than just masculine or feminine and see how those dimensions interact. Even in popular music, we see the complexity of this three-way gendered relationship. Remember Tenger, the masculine Mongolian singer? He has said that his primary inspiration is Teresa Teng, the feminine Taiwanese singer. So, this is all more complicated than we might think. <laughs>